In this lecture, let's learn how to create a radio button in template driven form in Angular and how to set a default value for that radio button. So here in this form, we are displaying these radio buttons. So we are displaying these radio buttons for this gender. And we are displaying this radio button using this HTML. Now, instead of displaying these radio buttons using this HTML, let's learn how we can display a radio button by creating a property in the TypeScript class. So here, let's go to appcomponent.ts file. And here, let's create a new property and let's call it gender. And this gender is going to store an array. And this array is going to have some objects as its element. So each object here is going to have an ID property. And let's say the ID is one. And it is also going to have a value property. And here, let's say the value is mail okay and let's also make this id a string value okay in the same way let's also create two objects for female and for other okay so here let's set the id to two and let's set the value to female and here let's set the id to three and let's set the value to other Okay, so here we have created a gender property, which is an array, and this array has three objects. An object for male gender, an object for female, and an object for other. Now, let's go to the view, and from here, I'm going to remove these HTMLs. Okay, and I will keep this HTML here. So, we are going to use this HTML as a template. Now, first, I want to show this text gender. And then I want to show the gender male, female and other with the radio button. Okay, so what I'm going to do is after this level, I'm going to create a span. And let's move this input element and this level inside this span. Okay. And on this span, let's go ahead and let's use ng for directive. And inside these double quotes, let's create a variable let's call it gen of and here we want to loop over this gender array so let's copy this property name and let's use it here okay then here the input type should be radio and for the id let's use the id property of this gender object so let's say gen dot id then for the value let's use the value property of the gender object so let's say gen dot value and here let's keep the name as gender and in the label where we are displaying this text here also we want to use the value property of the gender object so let's say gen dot value with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page and here you will notice that this male female and other gender radio buttons are still being displayed but this time, we are displaying these radio buttons using this gender property. Now, let's say we also want to set a default value for this gender. So let's say default value should be male. For that, what we can do is here we can create a property and let's call this property maybe default gender. And let's set it to male okay then let's go ahead and let's bind this default gender on this input element so here we are using this ng model so on this ng model let's do property binding by wrapping it within square brackets and to this let's assign this property default gender with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page and now you will notice that by default this male is selected if you want to make this female as default gender, in that case, you can go ahead and change the property value of this default gender to female. In that case, the female will be selected by default. Okay, so this is how we can create a radio button for a template driven form in Angular. We create a property of type array and inside that array, we specify the genders and then 
we loop over that array and using the HTML template, we display them in the radio button. Now let's also see if the proper values are displayed in the ng form object. So here let's open developer console. Let's clear everything. Let's submit this form. And here let's go this go to this value object. And if I expand this object, here we have this gender property. And here you will notice that the value of this gender property is set to female. If I select male, so let me clear this console again. Let's submit this form. And now the gender value should be assigned with the value male. So now you can see this gender property is assigned with this value male. Okay, so here this ng form is also picking the proper value from this radio button. This is all from this lecture. Thank you for listening and have a great day.